Corey, thank you. The Oconee County Sheriff opened up about the Tucker Hips death investigation today for the first time in weeks. His comments came during a year in review press conference. WIF of News Horse Stephanie Trotter was there. It's, it's frustrating uh, for us, but uh, you know we, we're not going to stop. We're not going to give up. In what should have been a shining year of success, the Tucker Hips case stands out unsolved. Look at the facts, look at the circumstances, look at our forensic evidence, look at our digital evidence, uh, look at statements. SLED is engaged and the solicitor has reviewed every scrap of material collected since September. The sheriff says it's quote unusual that a Clemson fraternity pledge should die from a fall into Lake Hartwell on a group run, yet no one knows how. Early in the investigation, Mike Crenshaw said he saw nothing to point to hazing. His response today? You know, I think it's premature to, to, to speculate or, or to, to really jeopardize the case in any way uh, as to what our, what our findings have been since that date going forward uh, until our investigation is complete. The sheriff says leads are still coming in, specifically through Crime Stoppers. But he says they're still missing the one piece of the puzzle that will let them know with certainty what happened on this bridge. That leads us to think either someone may be withholding information or not being truthful about it, or we've got the greatest mystery in the world that we've got to figure out, you know, and try to solve. As time washes over grief, the Hips family attorney tells News 4, quote, they are working with investigators and are reviewing everything. They are hoping for closure. Closure that could come with one clue. <laughs> Stephanie Trotter, WIFF News 4, Oconee County. Also during today's press conference, the sheriff said many crimes are down in Oconee County from 2013, including homicides, robberies, aggravated assaults, and auto thefts. He also said the new domestic violence shelter is saving lives. The number of domestic violence attacks dropped from 240 in 2013 to 202 last year.